Hey guys, my name is Trenton Wilkins. My name is Kelsey Perez. Tristan Charles Deschamps. Isaac Hansen. My name is Adrian Sanchez, and I have the opportunity and the privilege to serve in the beautiful island of Hawaii. I knew God had convicted me to become a student missionary in my freshman year while I was sitting in the student missionary vesper. But you know, as the years went by, I you know kind of put that in the back burner. I thought that maybe that idea was no longer you know valid. I was trying to graduate, I was trying to leave, you know, trying to start, you know, life. But God convicted me again my junior year to do it. And, you know, I decided to uh, to take a leap of faith. When Hawaii first, you know, presented opportunity for me to go, I was like, how can Hawaii be, you know, a place where I can do missions? But God was super intentional. And after, you know, being there for a year, now I can say that uh, that was the right place uh, for me to be, uh, to be at. Because it solidified my, my calling and the calling that God has given me to, uh, to do a ministry for Him. I was very uncertain about my living conditions and whether or not I would be able to adapt. My first day there, I remember I was awake for about 20 hours, and I'd just gotten into my room, a very small room. I heard start hearing banging in the next room, and it was this 20-year-old Swedish guy killing a rat with a stone. And I remember thinking, oh man, they're coming into my room next. So I got a bunch of stones and put them up like a wall around a city in my room. And I went to bed holding myself so the rats wouldn't get me. Now that's my biggest memory from early on and that really hammered a lot of uncertainties that people have about mission work, which is the condition of your living. I ended up leaving the mission field, not missing the old ways that I used to live, like in a warm bed or no rats in my room. But what I really missed was the service that I was doing in the mission field. Being a student missionary has its lows, but with those lows of not being sure if I am enough to teach them or I don't have the skill sets to um, prepare them for their futures because this is their future, not my job that we're worrying about here. I've had the most incredible highs because at the end of the day, it is not me who's doing it, but God in me. That's the most incredible thing. I was seeing test scores from my students in my classes where they were actually performing better in my classes compared to the professional teachers at the school. And that's the high because I can't say that was me. I can't say it was because I'm a genius or a good teacher because I don't know how to teach. And it's not probably not gonna be my profession either, but I can say that God blessed it and therefore my students succeeded. Before going out, a lot for me was just, school was just what it was for me. I was told ever since I was young, like, you gotta study, you gotta like get your career, um, you gotta do all of these things. And so for me, that was my world. But then when I went out as a student missionary, I saw how little my world was in reality and how much more there was out there. And I don't think I would have been able to see that if I hadn't gone out. And so that was something I really appreciated for my student missionary experience. One of the important life lessons that I took away from being a student missionary is that no matter your situation, no matter how difficult or discouraging it is, God is using you right where you are and He's with you. No amount of love that, that you give to other people uh, or that you share to, to someone is ever wasted and, and God is using you always to impact other people. If you're thinking of being an SM, you should totally do it. I promise you, you will have an amazing experience. And it might not be the experience that you wanted, but it will be the experience that you need. You should totally learn more, and I really encourage you to do it. It's really impacted my life in, in a really powerful and meaningful way, and uh, I'd love to see you do the same.